Okay, so this is the first lesson of Chapter 7. Chapter 7 is about the trigonometry of right triangles. So I'm going to introduce you to trigonometry. Um, this lesson, um, I'm going to hope, is going to help you understand what the three primary trigon tr trigonometric ratios are. So I want you to understand what the three trig ratios are before we can use them. Okay, so hopefully this lesson will help you do that. Okay, so first of all, start off with what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the branch of math that deals with the relationship between the sides and the angles um, of triangles. Okay, so for chapter seven, we're specifically going to be working with right angle triangles. Okay, um, why study triangles? You might ask. Um, um, we need to understand um, trigonometry in order to deal with lots of real life applications, such as um, any function that's a wave. Um, circles, to calculate distance, um, like it, let's say you wanted to find the distance between two of these stars here, um, well you can make a little right angle triangle here, um, use trig to help you find the distance of one of these sides, okay? Um, sound, okay, sound um, is a wave function, okay, so we need trig functions to deal with that, um, helps deal with motion, light, as you can see light can be a wave function, Okay, so so many things um, we need trig for. Okay, so let's start off just quickly reviewing a couple of key principles about um, right angle triangles. Okay, um, we know that the sum of all angles in a triangle, so this angle, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, that has to add to 180 degrees. Okay, and we know that this little square box here indicates that that is 90 degrees, which makes this a right angle triangle. We also remember Pythagorean's theorem. We'll need this occasionally in this chapter. It tells us that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the squares of both of the legs added gives us the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, the hypotenuse we remember is the longest side. Okay, so let's just jot that down to hypotenuse, the longest side. It's always the longest side of a right angle triangle, and it's always right across, it's always opposite to the right angle. Okay, the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. Opposite the right angle. The right angle. I use that little angle symbol. Okay? Good, so we're starting to remember about triangles now after we've been working with quadratics for so long. Um, we also need to review some properties of similar triangles. Okay? These triangles, al although they're completely different sizes, are similar. They're similar because they have the exact same shape. Okay? They're the exact same shape even though they're different sides. I know they're the same shape because they have equivalent angles. Okay? They both have angles of 90, 60, and 30. 90, 60, and 30. So these are similar. They have the exact same shape even though they're different sizes. So there's two properties of similar triangles. They have equal corresponding angles. So angle A is equal to D, C is equal to F, D is equal to E. Okay? Those, they have three pairs of equal angles. Another property of similar triangles, this is going to be important for today, okay? they have equal ratios of corresponding sides. So AC over DF, the ratio of this side to this side, is going to be equivalent to the ratio of this side to this side, and also of BC and EF. The ratio of all those sides is going to be the same. So if AC is twice as big as DF, AB must also be twice as big as DE, and similarly CD must be twice as big as FE. Okay? So those ratios must all be the same if these triangles are similar. Okay? So. One more thing before we can start with today, we have to know how to label a triangle, okay? So we need to be able to label its opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, those three sides, okay? So if angle A is our reference angle, we're always going to need a reference angle to be able to label it, okay? So angle A here is our reference angle. So what side is opposite to angle A, okay? Well, if I go right across, opposite from A, Okay, the opposite side is BC. I know the hypotenuse 
the hypotenuse is always, always, always side across from the right angle. Okay? Side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So BA is the hypotenuse. It's opposite of C. It's also the longest side. Okay? Adjacent means that's a fancy word for beside. So what angle is adjacent to this angle A? Right here, side AC is right beside it. That's the adjacent one. So if angle A is our reference angle, the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Um, the opposite side to angle A, we go across the triangle. There's the opposite side, adjacent, right beside the angle. Okay. Now what if our reference angle changes? So what if our reference angle is now B? Okay. Our hypotenuse doesn't change. Our hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. So if this is our right angle here, our hypotenuse doesn't change. That's all. Our hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, right opposite to it. And it's always the longest side. Okay? But what's going to change now, the side opposite to angle B, if we go across the triangle, opposite to angle B is right here. So AC is now the opposite. And the side beside angle B, so right adjacent to it, would be side BC. Okay? So that's how we label a triangle. Um, we label its opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Okay? And it, it all depends on where our reference angle is. Okay? Our reference angle is always going to be one of the two non-90 degree angles. Okay? Good. So I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration using GSP about um, some similar triangles and how we're going to discover these trig ratios okay, that we're going we're to figure out. Um, okay. So what I've made here are two similar triangles. Okay? You can tell, um, I'll just label the, the angles here. Okay, so this, for this triangle here, for triangle ABC, angle B is the, our 90 degree angle. Okay, angle A, I've said is 48.35, 48.35, and angle C is 41.65. Okay, and over here, this is a similar triangle, I know that, because it has the exact same angles. That means it's the same shape, even though it's a different size. Okay, so angle E is 48.35. Okay, so that's the same as angle A was. And angle F is 41.65. Okay, good. So you can tell these are similar triangles because they have the exact same angles. Okay? Even though they're different, even though they're different sizes, okay. We should also remember that um, similar triangles don't only have equal sides; they also have equal um, ratios of, cor of corresponding sides. Okay. So, if I take a look at um, the ratio of, but hold on, let's make. We're just going to do a little discovery here. Okay. So, if I make angle C my reference angle. Okay, so that would make angle F my reference angle for this one, so I keep it the same because angle C is equal to angle F. They're both the same. So if those are my reference angles, um, this would be my opposite side, opposite that angle. This would be my hypotenuse, the side across from the right angle, and this would be the adjacent side, the side adjacent to that angle. Let's label this one opposite to angle F adjacent to angle F, and here's my hypotenuse. Okay. So what I'm going to be interested in now to figure out these trig ratios, let's look at the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse for both triangles. So if I do opposite over hypotenuse for, for this triangle, if I do 8.81 divided by 13.26, Let's see what we get. Let's put that in on our trusty calculator. So if I do 8.81 divided by 13.26, I get 0.6644. So that gives me 0.66. Okay. Now let's see what the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse um, is for this triangle. 
So if I do 5.53 divided by 8.32, let's see if that ratio um, is the same. Let's see if that works. 5.53 divided by 8.32. It does. I get 0 0.66 for that as well. Okay? So I did opposite over hypotenuse for both of these. So I did opposite over hypotenuse for both of those. And I found that even though um, these are totally different sized triangles, because they're similar, that means these triangles are, are directly proportional to each other. Okay? So that's what makes these ratios exactly the same. The ratio of the opposites of the hypotenuse for this triangle is exactly the same as the ratio of the opposites of the hypotenuse for this triangle. Okay? That ratio is called the sine ratio. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, that's the sine ratio. There are two other ratios. Um, because we have, let me just open up our lesson again here. Because we have three different pairs of sides. Okay? Um, so if I look at this triangle here, I could look at the ratio of the, let me just get my highlighter out here. I could look at the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is what we just did, and we knew that was, the, we, we called that the sine ratio. I could also look at the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That would be another ratio I could look at. That's called the cosine ratio. Or I could look at the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. That's called the tan ratio, tangent ratio. Okay? So those are the three different combinations of sides we can have. So we can look at the ratio of all of those. And what we've discovered, okay, um, for similar triangles, okay, let's just look at this bottom part first right now, okay? For similar triangles, even though the lengths of the sides may change, the measures of the angles do not change, okay? So if these triangles that we looked at were similar, and just be, these were similar, even though the lengths of the sides were different, we know they're similar because they have equivalent angles. The angles are exactly the same. Okay, and we discovered that um, the ratio of the corresponding sides doesn't change. Okay, so the relationship stays the same. The opposite over the hypotenuse was exactly the same for both of the triangles because they were similar. Okay, because they had exactly the same angles, their proportions were the same. So opposite over the hypotenuse was the same for both triangles that had an angle of 41.65. Okay, so like I was saying before, each triangle has its own unique sine, cosine, and tan ratio. There's three ratios. The sine ratio is the opposite over hypotenuse, what we looked at. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. Okay.